research design in order to carry out the various research operation smoothly and in a cost effective manner a research design in need is needed decision regarding what objective where scope when time period and how much sample size by what means methodology technique etc constitute the element of a research design the overall research design can be divided into four categories one the sampling design two the statistical design the sample size and the type or method of sampling to be adopted three the observation design and four the operational design that is the specific details by which the procedure in one two and three above are to be carried out for the purpose of describing research design research studies can be categorized into three types a explanatory research studies be descriptive and diagnostic research studies and c experimental studies a explanatory research studies these are also termed as formulative research studies explanatory research aims at focused investigation for developing working hypothesis from an operational point of view emphasis is laid on finding out new facts in which a research problem broadly defined initially is transformed into one with more focused meaning the different steps involved in explanatory research studies are one review of relevant literature to survey or field work and three case studies b descriptive and diagnostic research studies as said earlier descriptive research studies are concerned with describing the characteristics of a particular phenomenon diagnostic research studies on the other hand determine the frequency with which something occurs a diagnostic design is concerned with the case as well as treatment the main objective of descriptive design is to acquire knowledge the design in such studies need to be rigid focusing on the following one formulation of objective to designing the method of data collection three selecting the sample four collecting the data five processing and analyzing the data and six reporting the finding in brief the difference between the research design is explanatory and descriptive research studies can be illustrated in a tabular form as follows types of study research design explanatory or formulative descriptive or diagnostic on sampling design purposive or judgment sampling random sampling to statistical design non pre non pre planned design for analysis pre planned design for analysis three observable observational design unstructured instrument for collection of data structural or well thought out instrument for collection of data for operational design no flexed decision about the operational procedure advanced decision about procedure experimental studies experimental c experimental studies experimental design seek to find out the cause and effect relationship of the phenomenon under study under this design two similar group one called experimental group and other control group are chosen the experimental group is exposed to pre design procedure while the control group is kept constant at the end of experiment the two groups are compared to find out the resultant effect of the experiment the difference between the two groups is considered to have been produced by the causative factor
before starting the experimentation process it needs to be ensured that the two groups are similar in almost every respect the main techniques for making the two groups similar are one randomization and matching and two frequency distribution control there are four types of experimental studies and accordingly four types of research design dealing with each type of experimental studies the characteristics of these four experimental design have been summed as in the following table types of experimental design and their characteristics the type of experimental design Characteristics after uh, after only experimental design. Characteristics are experimental groups, e.g., and control groups, e.g., are similar. E.g. is exposed exposed to casual variable x, but e.g. is not exposed. After experimentation, both groups are compared, and some effect y is say produced in the e.g. but not in the e.g. X is then regarded as the cause and y is the regarded as the effect type of experiment design before after experimental design characteristic the effect is measured both before and after the exposure of groups to experiment the difference that is produced after the experiment is said to be the effect y of the experimental variable x this design provides evidence of concomitant variation between x and y by making a comparison of y in the group exposed to x with y in the group not exposed to x the eg and cg are measured at the beginning and end of experimental period the difference between the two groups is regarded as the effect of experimental variable alone x post facto experimental design characteristic when it is difficult to provide the population of a country into two clear and similar groups then through a comparative study of the condition of two countries the researcher may be able to find out the cause of a particular event this is known as ex post facto study in such situation past is studies through the present it is difficult to find out two similar groups or country which are comparable panel study experimental design a particular subject is studied by using different kind of data over time the researcher obtain direct evidence of time relationship among variables it involves repeated observation on the same subject at different period of time it is a type of time series study the common subject observed and studied again and again constitute a panel